Hello reception, are you all ready for some phonics action? Fantastic, well let's get cracking then. Today you are going to need your thinking brains and your listening ears and we are going to be doing three different things today. First of all we're going to be practicing our phonics flashcards and some tricky words. Then we're going to have a look at reading some of the CBC words that um, you did with Mrs Mason on Wednesday. And finally, we're going to have a go at reading those words in a bare word sentence. Fantastic! Let's get going. Flashcards. Thinking brains, listening ears. Let's go. Oh. Ah. S. T. N. Mm. G. Mm. Fantastic. You're all getting very good at those. I can tell you've been practicing and keeping up with the videos. Well done. Tricky words? Okay. Remember, the tricky for a reason. Let's see how many we can get right. I. Into. To. No. The go. Excellent job, well done. And don't worry if there was a couple in there that you're still learning, that's okay, but we're getting better every time, that's the main thing. Super. So we've done our flashcards and our tricky words, and now we're going to have a look at those words that Mrs. Mason was blending and reading. And they all had sounds that either had an eh or an uh sound in the middle of the word an e eh or an u uh sound okay now i've made it a little bit harder today i haven't put the phonics buttons on the words because in phonics we put phonics buttons on don't we but when you read a book are there phonics buttons on there no there's no sound buttons there to help us so it's very important that we see words without them too so we're going to have a go no phonic sounds, no buttons. But don't worry, all we have to do is use our fingers instead. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to touch underneath. Ready? B, E, eh, D. B, E, eh, D. Bed. Well done, super. And the middle sound was one of our new sounds. It's an E. Eh. B, E, eh, D. Bed. Super. Shall we try another one? Well done for using your pointing finger there. D. O. K. Did you see that my finger did something special there at the end? It didn't just point, it slid. And that means that it's two sounds that make one word. Do you remember when normally we have a button, button, line? Well, we're just going to make our finger do exactly the same thing, okay? D, O, K. D, O, K. Have you got the word? Duck. Fantastic. And the middle sound was one of our new sounds. O. Oh. Well done. One more. Last one. N, mm. easy this one. P, e, eh. n. Mm. Have you got it? One more. P, e, eh. n. Mm. Pen. Well done. Well done for reading that word with no sound buttons. Fantastic. Right now that we have been chopping up our words to read, Sid. The squirrel has got a challenge for you. Here he is. Hi, Sid. He has been missing you, but he's done something really helpful today. He has written three bare word sentences for you. Isn't that helpful? Oh, thanks, Sid. And he's written three bare word sentences, but he's put those CVC words in there. Should we have a look at the first one? Thanks, Sid. Okay, you stay there. 
Okay, here is his first sentence. Oh, I might just sit back a bit there, Sid. Are you ready? <clears throat> now, it's got our bare words in there. So hopefully you should just be able to remember them. Look at the word and remember. I like my bed. Fantastic. Now let's read it all together. I like my bed. Oh, that's very true. I do love my bed, Sid. How did you know that? I like my bed. Well done. Now, if there's any tricky um, bear words on there that you got stuck with, don't forget you can just have a look at the first sound and that might give you a clue. So like this word, here we go. Oh, mm, mm, what bear word do I know that starts with a mm sound? Could it be my? Got it. Okay, well done. I like my bed. Thank you for that sentence, Sid. Very good. Ready for another one? Hang on a minute, Sid. This sentence looks a bit mixed up. It looks a bit muddled. Will you help me read it first? Oh, Sid. What's going on? You ready? Let's read this bare word. His. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Try it. Oh, oh, hang on. See, can you go down there? Can't do this with only one hand. Right, are you ready? His. At. Look. De. Oak. Duck. Does that sound like a sentence to you? Let's read it again all together. His at look duck. His at look duck. Sid. Oh my goodness me. He's got it all modelled up. His at look duck. What do you think he might have been trying to write? I'm going to have a go. I'm going to see if I can mix it up and put it back in the right order. His at look duck. Do you think it could be look his at duck? Look his at duck. Does that make a sentence? No. Look at his duck. Look at his duck. Does that sound like a sentence? Let's have a look. Read it together. Look at his duck duck oh we got there in the end it's a good job we were here to help sid out weren't wasn't it <gasps> sid right we've got one more sentence and i really hope he's got it right this time he's very lucky that you're here to help come on sid where are you sid this one better be right mm, i'm not sure should we see It's a very long sentence this one right so this is from lots of these bear words here are from um bear two so hopefully you've been practicing those now this one down put pen the oh, tricky word you should know that one straight away let's read that together down put pen the down put then the Sid what is going on down put pen the oh goodness me what has he been doing I, I don't think he's been doing his home learning has he that's what's happened goodness me Sid he'll be in trouble now let me have a look at this down put pen the doesn't make any sense does it doesn't make any sense at all down put pen the how about the put pen down? The put pen down. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't, does it? Let's try again. Let's have a think, Sid. Put the pen down. 
put the pen down. That makes sense, doesn't it? That's something we can do. We can put the pen down, but we can't down put pens there, can we? We can't down put them there. But we can put the pen down. Let's have a look at Sid's word sentence. Put the pen down. There we go, Sid. Goodness me, what a tricky phonics lesson. All thanks to this guy. Oh dear. Right, well, thank you for helping Sid to get those sentences back in the right order. Fantastic reading there. Well done for remembering some of your um, bare words. And like we said, don't forget, if there's some that you find a little bit tricky, look at the first sound of the word and see if you can figure it out. Um, now, on your to-do list, Sid has made you a quiz. And he's made some bare word sentences with some of the CBC words in but you know now I'm really worried that he's got them all mixed up do you think he might have got them all mixed up oh goodness me oh Sid this phonics quiz is going to be really hard <gasps> but don't worry I know that RM and RS are just fantastic at phonics and they'll be able to do this okay go have a try go and see if you can help Sid unmix all of those bare word sentences Okay, thank you very much, and we shall see you next week for some more phonics fun. Bye!